I'm Dr. Matt Chalmers. Uh, as a concussion specialist and as a sports specialist, people would ask me all the time if I was going to let my kids play football. Um, and up to about six months ago, the answer was no. Uh, the, the reason was is because I just didn't have the information then that I have now. And so I want to make sure that all the parents out there have the ability to make the decision properly so they're making their decisions based on facts, not on fear, like a lot of us, including myself, were. There's now a DNA test that can tell us how well your brain responds and how well it heals after a concussion. That test really will go a long way to making the sport safer and making life better for all of those individuals. So we'll know beforehand if you should even play or if you get a concussion, how well your brain's gonna respond. The other thing is the technology has actually come a long, long way. This is the football helmet that I wore 20 years ago. So if you look at it, it's hard shell with hard foam padding inside. So when you took a hit, the hit went into the helmet, into the padding, then into your head. The problem with this is that there's not a lot of absorption of shock here. So what happens is that almost all of the force that hits the helmet gets translated into the head. Once it gets translated into the head, it moves the head around. And as the head whips back and forth, that's when concussions happen. So the goal is to take as much of the impact that happens here and decrease it before it moves through into the head. Now obviously one of the best things you can do is strengthen your neck to absorb extra impact and to keep the head from moving so quickly, but you're always gonna have those big hits, those big falls, the, the things you, you're not ready for that impact the head that you have to take advantage of. Now, the problem is that the, the technology has come a long way in some manufacturers and not much in others. So the big problems with this is that the chin strap is literally strapped to the outside of the helmet here. So whatever happens to the helmet, happens to your chin, happens to your head. That technology hasn't changed much. This is the Rydell uh, U360. Youth, youth <clears throat> this is one of the big helmets that everybody's being told to get. It's $300 and it looks really cool. I'll give them that, it really does look cool. It's got lots of vents on it, which is good for heat. But the problem is, is that we've got that same problem it still straps to the outside of the hard shell and the inside, even though it has this nice little soft fabricy thing in here, it still has all these hard foam pads in here. So as you're looking at the inside, the, the things that are going to absorb the shock is still your head. It's going to fit tight and that's good, but it's still going to take all this hit on this foam pad that's going to go right into your head. Now, the Zenith Elite, this has a bonnet system that doesn't attach to the outside of the shell. So as it moves around, your head sits inside this bonnet system. So whenever the, the outside shell takes a hit, it has to translate over to the bonnet system, which then compresses these air-filled air shock absorbers that will then dissipate the energy even further before it even hits your head. This is the technology that we've been needing for a long time. So this is the helmet that I recommend everybody get, is the, is the Zenith Elite. So this one also has straps on the inside that actually attach the chin strap to the, to the bonnet system that's holding onto the head. So the, the chin strap doesn't necessarily hold onto the plastic shell it holds onto the bonnet, which is holding onto your head. This is the helmet that I recommend all of my patients get. This is the one that my kids are going to be wearing when they play. So, out of all those parents who are wondering, should my parent, or should my kids play football? Could they? Is it going to be safe? Is it going to be not? You got to find the better technology. Sometimes you're going to have to go outside and buy it yourself. This Zenith is probably the best technology we have on the market right now. So look for this helmet. It's not clear. This is, this is a demonstration helmet. It looks like these, it'll be colored, but get a Zenith helmet, get your DNA tested, and figure out what it is. Even for concussion specialists, for sports specialists like myself, we can't, 
it's a whole lot easier for us to prevent concussions than it is to treat them. So keep these things, keep the technology, keep everything going, get the DNA tested, and keep your kids safe. Thanks.